हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू महिला समाज ऑनलाइन डिजिटल क्लासेस ऑफ एथ स्टैंडर्ड इंग्लिश इन टूडेज क्लास आई विल बी टीचिंग यूनिट फोर प्रोज द नेम ऑफ द लेसन इज द बॉय हु एस्ट फॉर मोर and the author of this lesson is charles dickens and this is the part 1 of this chapter before going to her here is a ila means introductory listening activity now i will read the following passage listen to it and go through the passage and then answer the following questions you should answer the following questions and you should do it as your homework a poor little girl was walking along the lonely deserted road she was wearing a worn out dress worn out means old one or which has been used more okay here she was wearing a worn out dress and her feet were bare Okay, she was not wearing any slippers or shoes it was uncovered she had been asked by her father to sell boxes of matches means match boxes okay boxes of matches and to bring home the money the girl's pocket was full of unsold boxes of matches which she has been not sold okay the girl's pocket was full of unsold boxes of matches she did not want to go home because her father would beat her for not bringing back any money sadly she lit lit is nothing but begin to burn okay sadly that girl lit one match after another suddenly the figure of her grandmother who had died a year before appeared in front of her smiling happily as the last flaming means burning match was beginning to die out means it becomes less her grandmother took her in her arms and carried her up to the heavens heaven sandrelli swarga okay and the next uh, morning the passers by passers by is nothing but dari ho karu andare okay passers okay found the frozen girl iced girl lying in the snow with a pretty smile on her lips her burnt matches lay scattered means it was thrown all around her okay now you should go through the video you should listen to that and you should go through this passage and then you should answer the following questions dear children do this as your homework let us know about author charles dickens charles dickens was born on 1812 and died on 1870 he was a greatest means he was a prominent victorian novelist he is well known for his attacks on social evils means social evils means social sufferings like child labor and institutional cruelty his most popular works are david copperfield a tale of two cities and great expectations okay is popular works of david copperfield a uh, take of two cities and great expectations oliver twist oliver twist is a very famous and popular story throughout the world the reader never forgets the story which is most memorable and touched deeply this lesson is an extract from oliver twist this of this lesson okay first one hastily hastily means urgently pauper woman means poor woman beadle means an officer persuade means 
कन्विंस और बिलीव समथिंग वाटरी ग्रियल मीन लिक्विड फुड अंदर कन्ड दल गंजी अंतर ओके ग्रियल अंदर कन्ड दल गंजी वाटरी ग्रियल मीन इट इस लिक्विड फुड एपटाइटिस मीन न्याचुरल क्रेविंग फॉर् फुड कौनसिल मीन मीटिंग पूर् हाउस मीन बिल्कुल वेर पूर् पीपल और चिल्रन और मेन्टेड अट पब्लिक एक्सपेन्स इट्स लाइक ऑर्फनेज ओके हार्डली नोन आलमोस्ट नाट नोन एक्साइटमेंट मीन फीलिंग स्ट्रांगली हॉर मीन फीलिंग ऑफ एक्सट्रीम फियर मिसरेबल वेरी अनहैपी व्रच इनवेटेड मीन कॉइन स्टार्व टू गो विदउट फुड नाउ लेट मोन टू दि टेक्स्ट द बॉय हू आज फॉर मोर चार ऑलिवर वॉज बॉर्न इन द पू हाउस ऑफ अ लिटिल कंट्री टाउन on a cold black night in the winter of 1837 the birth was attended by a doctor who was hastily called for the purpose and by an old pauper woman who was experienced in such matters oliver twist was born to a poor woman in the poor house of a little country town he was born on a cold black night in the winter of 1837 he was born in the year 1837 here a doctor attended his birth who was hastily hastily means here urgently okay called for the purpose and also by an old pauper woman means poor woman here pauper woman means she was a poor woman and she was well experienced in such matters next para the mother died almost as soon as the baby took his first breath she was a young good looking woman who had been found lying in the street it was clear that she had walked some distance before she died her shoes had been torn to pieces where she had come from or where she had been going nobody knew the meaning of this para his mother his year means that baby's mother died as soon as the baby took his first breath his mother was a young she was very young and she was also good looking woman and she had been found lying dead on the street it was also clear that she had walked some long distance before she died her shoes had been torn into pieces nobody knew who she was or from where she had come from or where she had been going next the baby cried loudly if he could have known that he was now an orphan of a poor house it is likely that he would have cried still louder after taking birth the baby it cried very loudly and if that baby could have known that he was now orphan or he belongs to orphan who has lost his mother through death of a poor house he would have cried still louder next they called him oliver twist a name invented by mr bumble the town beadle because he could not think of any other here mr bumble he was a town beadle beadle means he was an officer okay he named that baby oliver twist he named the baby as oliver twist mr bumble invented this name 
okay because he could not think of any other name mr bumble had full authority over the people of the poor house he thought himself a very great man indeed okay mr bumble he had full authority means he was having full powers of the people on those people who were in the poor house in fact he himself thought he was a very great man he starved and ill treated the children under his care oliver's ninth birthday found him a pale thin child who had hardly known a kind word or met with a kindly look he starved starved means here to go without food okay he starved and misused he was abused okay the children who were under his care means under mr bumble's care oliver was weak he was very weak and he was very thin child at his ninth birthday he did not know a kind word or met with a kindly look or care his only friends were his little companions in misery but in the end they brought him trouble they persuaded him to ask for more his companions means his friends okay his friends were his companions in his unhappiness his friends brought him trouble at the end even they also brought him trouble at the end and they also convinced oliver to ask for more dear children let us stop this chapter here and let us continue in the next class and now let me explain grammar the grammar framing questions we form questions with the verb to be like is or or was by placing the verb before the subject verb to be plus subject plus plus rest of the sentence plus question mark okay here we form questions with the verb to be it may be is or was by placing the verb before the subject it's like verb to be plus subject plus rest of the sentence plus question mark for example is nikki here here is is verb and nikki is subject okay singular subjects take the verb is okay if there is singular subject and it takes the verb the verb is is plural subjects take the verb are for example singular subject it is, is he practicing yoga and next is plural subject are the children happy okay here we form the questions with the verb to be and by placing the verb before the subject here here a uh, task one frame questions for the following statements one is done for you sujai and supriya are radha's cousins and the question frame here are sujai and supriya radha's cousins are we have used here are because here the subject is plural sujai and supriya so we have used here are are sujai and supriya radha's cousins and the question mark is here very compulsory the pet dog is called rambo the question here to be framed is is the pet dog is called rambo next the children are happy are the children happy the question are the children happy he is practicing yoga and the question to be framed here is is he practicing yoga next here radha likes sweets and the question has been framed here is does radha like 
sweets. We form questions with the verb to do. That is do, does, did by changing the main verb to its base form and adding the verb to do before the subject. For example, does he work very hard? Here, he is subject and the work is base verb. For a singular subject, we add the verb does before the subject. Okay, here for a singular subject, we should add the verb does before the subject. For example, does Radha like sweets? Okay, here we have used does and the Radha is subject and like is the base verb. And the next example is she visits her aunt's place every summer. And the question is, does she visit her aunt's place every summer? We should use the question mark compulsorily. And the next is, she loves playing with her cousins. Does she love playing with her cousins? Next, he likes reading story books. And the question is, does he like reading story books? Books. Okay, next. Let's move on to the next C example. The children love playing with Rambo. And here the framed question is Do the children love playing with Rambo? For a plural subject and the singular pronouns I and you, we add the verb do before the subject here. Do plus subject plus base verb plus rest of the sentence plus there should be question mark. Okay. Do. For example, do Reshma and Rahim like to play with Raghu? Okay. This is the example. Do Reshma and Rahim like to play with Raghu? And there should be a question mark at last. Here. Reshma and Rahim is subject and like is base verb. And also we use the verb did with a singular subject as well as the plural subject to form past tense. For example, did Shilpa invite Puni to the party? Here, Shilpa is singular and invite is the main verb in the base form. Shilpa is the singular subject. Did Shilpa invite Puni to the party? Okay. And the next is, did they enjoyed the vacation? Here, did they, here they is plural subject and enjoyed is base verb. Okay. Here we use the verb did with a singular subject and plural subject to form past tense. Let's see the examples. The kids practice yoga every morning. And the question is, do the kids practice yoga every morning? Do the kids practice yoga every morning? And the question mark is compulsory. Next, Reshma and Rahim like to play with Raghu. And the question is, do Reshma and Rahim like to play with Raghu? Question mark is compulsory. They enjoyed the vacation. And here the question to be framed is, did they enjoy the vacation? And the question mark is compulsory. Okay, this is about the framing questions. Now let's move on to the next topic. See, dear children, this is task 2. Okay. In your 8th standard textbook in page number 70, there is a main which is related to framing questions. That, in, that is task 2. You should frame questions for the statements given below using the question words given in the brackets. Okay, They have been given the brackets here. Do not forget to put the question mark at last. 
and the first question it has been done for you this novel was written in 1946 and they have also given you a clue here when okay by using this you should frame a question when was this novel written okay and the following uh, following examples you should do it as your homeworks i'll read it once the briefcase was stolen at the station and the word given in the bracket is where the auditorium was constructed last year in the bracket it is n okay when you should use when and then you should frame the question the money was collected by the students in the bracket they have given by whom they have bought six plants for my garden in the bracket they have given how many by using how many you should frame the question for the following sentence his house was destroyed by fire in the bracket they have given how the servant let out the secret in the bracket they have given who sundar visits his parents twice a week in the bracket they have given how often you have selected this book in the bracket they have given which janaki waited for 2 hours to consult the doctor how long it is his fault in the bracket they have given whose okay by using the clues you should frame the questions to the following sentences now let's move on to the next topic writing means profile writing what is profile? A profile is a biographical sketch or a short description of one person. It also includes the main or major facts of his life. Here they have given the important facts about Ruskin Bond. We should write a paragraph by using the hints or information provided. Here the ins or profile is like this. Okay, look at the following table. Some important facts about Ruskin Bond are given. Write a paragraph based on the information provided. Here they have given birthplace is Kasoli HP. Okay, HP in the sense Himachal Pradesh. It is the birthplace of Ruskin Bond. Date of birth that is 19th May 1934. Next is residence is Missouri. Next, work occupation. He was novelist, short story writer. His books translated into many European and Indian languages. Awards. Kendra Sahitya Academy Award in 1992. Now, let's develop a paragraph by using the, these clues or hints or information. Now, we should develop a paragraph by using this important information or Clues. Here they have given dashes. See, Ruskin Bond, comma, a famous novelist and story writer. And they have given dash here. We should fill that paragraph. Okay. And then he stays dash. He is the author dash. Ruskin Bond was awarded dash. Okay. Now let us fill these dashes. Okay. Let us make a meaningful paragraph by using these hints. Ruskin Bond. A famous novelist and story writer. He was born on 19th May 1934 at Kasauli, Himachal Pradesh. He stays at Mussoorie. His books were translated into many European and Indian languages. He is the author of many novels and short stories. Raskin Bond was awarded Kendra Sahitya Award in the year 1992. Okay. In this way, we should um, develop a paragraph by using the clues or information given uh, above. Okay. This is also very important and this will be there, there for 4 or 3 marks and it is very important for your 10th exam. For 10th, they will ask this profile writing as a compulsory question. It may be for 3 or 4 marks. Dear children, I hope you people have understood all the aspects of this chapter and I think you people have understood the grammar that is framing questions as well as the profile writing. Now let's move on to your home assignment. 
the following questions the first question is where was oliver twist born and the next question who were present when oliver was born the third question what happened to the mother as soon as the child was born the next question what did the mother look like while she was alive and the next question who was mr bumble and the sixth question is how did mr bumble treat the children the last question is what did oliver's friends want him to ask the master dear children go through the video understand the lesson and then do your homework thank you dear children